A whole bunch of them. Oh, hey, there we go. Hey, hey. Aina. All right, so let's just go around a little bit. The infrared light just now when we're down there as well, so we'll get these hyenas to have darkness around them. Oof, smells like they might have a bit of food here or something, otherwise one defecated. It's a very strong smell here. Ah, I can see a young one there. I'm not going to put the lights on it for now. Let's see. Reach there, Rex. Yeah, I can see they're a little bit up. I can see them. Oh, we just go out again. Let's go wide. There we go. Shoot. Look at that. Young Ahina. As in, this is a little bit of an early Christmas present. Look at that, coming out immediately, he doesn't see anything around now. Not that the lights bother them, they're used to lights. They see game drive vehicles all the time. But it's just even better this way. Now it's infrared lights only. Look at that Ahina, it is darkness around it. Well, relative darkness. Of course, Ahinas can see much better than we can in, dark, in, in low light. But he doesn't feel like it's disturbed in any way. back in I was going to say I heard another one coming there's the adult we saw a bit earlier sorry I've just been calling them ahinas the whole time they spotted ahinas to be more specific Rex are there any small ones here at the moment not here but with the group did, did Charles tell you anything these hyenas have been denning for a few months now already, probably four months or so, five months. It's about how old that youngster is. Um, yeah, Torchwood side. Actually, it's longer than that, Rexon. Yeah. How long? About six six months. It's before winter even. So, yeah, from about <coughs> May, June. So, yeah, six, seven months actually. And um, it's fantastic to see them this side now. Something we've been looking for. I remember in the winter time when we heard the Ahinas were around, we checked here very often and at one stage we saw Ahina here once or twice and then she left again. So it's nice to see them back here. And uh, I think tonight we're just going to leave you with that. Just a short visit here, we saw them, they're here. And we'll be coming past here, Oof. on average probably once a day. Let's give you a bit of light there, Rex. Cool. On average about once a day, maybe even twice a day, we'll be coming past very often. Night time with the infrared light, often early mornings, see the hyenas coming back, this will become one of our, our sort of regular little spots we'll spend a lot of time here. Thank you very much for joining us. Look forward to tomorrow morning's drive. We're going to see if there's a hyenas around. Didn't get that out right, sorry. <laughs> see you tomorrow morning. We're going to see if these are hyenas are around. That's quite a tricky sentence for some reason. And um, yeah, a little story that's starting to happen here that I can promise you, those of you that haven't spent lots of time with our hyenas before, I know a lot of people are a little bit prejudiced about hyenas. You sort of see them as the bad guys, the stinky things. They are amazing animals. You will truly fall in love with these creatures. And I can guarantee you, within a few days or within a few weeks, you're going to be a big hyena fan. So we're going to spend lots more time here. But for now, from myself, Peter, and from Rex and behind the camera, good night and goodbye. Thank you for joining us on the drive. Simon's in the control center. He's going to say goodbye to you as well. Cheers.